Hi, this is Krista, and as promised, I'm back here to take you on a quick tour of our second custom interaction feature, which is about moving the objects. Let's go! So here's my workspace. Now, let's start by clicking interaction, then click on the cow, and then choose this option, and choose move. To move the cow, you can choose between these two options. Here's the difference. When you choose move to, your object will move to where you set your coordinates are. But when you choose move by, the coordinates you input will be added from your original position. For now, I'm gonna choose move to. Let's click here. Now this is my cow's original position. From this position, I want to move the cow into here. Now click on the object, and then you'll see the current coordinates here. I just need to copy and paste the coordinates into this box, and the rest is also the same. For this feature, you can also set your delay movement. So, when you click the object, there will be a delay according to the duration you input until it starts to move. But I'm not gonna use it for now. Now, let's move on to the move duration. This will determine how long your object moves from one position to another. Hmm, let's try 7 seconds. Okay, final step. For this option, you can choose your transition styles. Do you see how the transition differs? Some of them move fast at first, but slower later on and vice versa for the other styles. For now, I will try with this one. Okay, all set. Now all you have to do is click done. Before we take a preview of how it's gonna turn out, let's move the cow back to its original position. Just click Ctrl plus Z on your keyboard or simply drag it manually. Okay then, finished. Now let's click preview and see how the objects will move still have no idea on how to apply it for your learning activities? Maybe this example can help you. This learning activity is about animals from all over the world. Basically, when you explain it to your students, you just need to click on each of the animal and it will move to the region where it comes from. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's try it right away because we'd love to see how creative you are with this feature. See you on the next episode.